All right, we're going live here for just a minute. We're out here at Bucks Island Marina in Southside, Alabama. As you can tell, I've got my setup with me. I went ahead and brought it out because they are located on the Coosa River, so I do plan on doing some fishing after I'm done with the demo day. But we got the guys now, they're backing down all of the new kayaks. And the main one I'm here to test out today is that green one, that green Jackson on the back, that is the new NAR. As you can tell, they have a ton of boats here. They've got a ton of kayaks, but the new NAR is, is, it's brand new to 2022 by Jackson Kayaks, and it's set up a whole lot like the Pro Angler. Let me move this out of their way really quick. There we go. Whew. All right, I forgot that was live. So they're gonna put them in. We're gonna be testing out a whole lot. They're gonna do this all day long. So if you're in the area, Northeast Alabama, from nine to five, so it's what, 1025 now. They've been live for an hour and a half already. And we're putting all the boats in the water right now. This is the new NAR. And as you can tell, it's got the horizontal rod storage, track system all the way down. We've got the new Mirage Outback for 22. All of these have that 360 drive. There's a Jackson Kusa FD. Hobie PA14 360 over there. What's this one in the middle here? That is a Jackson as well. Can't tell what that one is. It's got a detachable rudder back here in the back though. Let me get out of their way and let them stick them in. I don't know how many boats they're gonna be putting in the water, but like I said, if you're in the area, come down here, test them out. We're gonna take that gnar out. I'm gonna grab a fishing rod or two out of the back of the truck. And what's really cool about this place is they've got this little pocket and we can put in and it takes you out to the main river. I'll walk down here and show you guys really quick. Woo, it's done got hot out here today. I haven't gone live in a long time. So if this sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, there's fish popping right here in the slough. So I'll turn you guys back around. So they've got their own little private spot here because, it, you know, it's a marina. They do a lot of work on boats. They've got a lot of pro angler boats here right now, too. I might walk over and show them to you in a minute. But you can put them in right here. They're just going to line up all the new kayaks for people to come out and test. And if you walk down here, they got this little peninsula. So you can kind of hop on and off the kayaks and test them. They'll bring them up here on this little bank but you just kind of cut right out of this little slough here into this little pocket. And if you look way down there, can I zoom like this? Yeah. You go way out that little slough back there and you run right into the Coosa River and you can test these kayaks out. I brought mine, so I'm definitely gonna be putting mine in here after we're done with this demo day. And I'm gonna go fishing because I don't get to fish this end of the Coosa River in my kayak much. And I really wanna go see if I can stick a few in the boat. But let's see what else they got over here. Do I have chat up? Looks like a good day to do demos. Hey, Alyssa. <laughs> That's my daughter-in-law for anybody that didn't know. How's the stream looking? Like I said, I do not go live a lot. I'm probably supposed to have the, the phone turned the opposite way. But oh well, here's my setup. The light's done great on the trailer today. The trailer pulls perfect. I do think in an upcoming video, we're gonna carpet those bunks. I've been kind of worried about them with this heat. You know, I, I've never had an issue, but I wouldn't want them to get too hot. They're not hot at all right now, but I wouldn't want them to sit out here and get too hot up under the kayak. So we'll probably carpet those in an upcoming video. This is new. I don't think you guys have seen this. I just 3D printed this sun shield for my Garmin and I wrapped the top of it in like the Velcro backing because I've got all these really cool Velcro 
stickers or whatever you want to call them you can kind of just throw them up here but it pops on and off gives me a good shade on the uh the old garmin there if you watched the last video last week i showed you guys i installed the yak power system the lights i've got running lights on the front of this i've got anchor lights mounted to the back i added some rod tubes and i'm not sure who it was that asked but someone asked yesterday about my catch board mount and how i done it and while we're waiting on them to put the kayaks in we can i can show you how i have my catch board mounted so all i did here's my catch board it's really cool they made it custom for me too check it out it's got my logo if you need a good board i'll you can check my links i've got the catch link straight to their website and you can go and actually have them custom engrave your own catch board this is aluminum the other one i got is the plastic one it, the only difference is is this one won't float the other one will but here's how i've got it mounted so i've got my track system that's on the boondocks and i took two of the 90 yak attack mounts and i mounted them kind of like an s so one i mount to my track and the other one gives me a mounting spot at the top and i just took some pvc board or whatever you want to call it like cutting board material I cut it into slits, put some pad here, and then on this end is just a regular catch mount. And the way it works is I've got me a little bungee cord tied here. When I'm measuring a fish, I just reach behind me. I can grab the catch board, or the way I do it, I reach back here, pop this off, grab my board, and when I'm done, the board slides back into the holder, and I lock it back over just like that. And I can trap, like I haul my kayak with this like this. It doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. This is exactly how I haul the kayak. I even hauled it here today with the, the XI3 on the front. I didn't think I was gonna do that. I thought that I would probably take off that XI3 when I'm hauling down the road. And I, I really don't need to. It's locked on really good. You know, I've got it in the quick disconnect setup. So it, it's never given me an issue or think, you know, or thought that it's gonna come out. You gotta really pull this pin to get it to come out anyway. So I just kind of took the risk and hauled it and it done fine. I mean. They run on the front of bass boats. It shouldn't hurt anything to be hauled on the front of this kayak. It don't bounce or anything. It's got a little wobble there, but I ain't worried about it. Check out my new kayak cushion. They sent me the OD green one. This is the firm one and I've been needing it so bad. I love the, the vantage seat on these Hobies, but my butt kills me after about an hour or two. So that's gonna be a lifesaver. All right, y'all ready to test them out? All right, guys, we're going to put them in the water. I'm going to film a video today of testing out this Narsi. Y'all stay tuned. It'll probably be next Thursday at 2 o'clock. I'm going to cut the live footage right now because I'm going to help them get the boats in the water, get everything set up, and take some fishing rods. I might go live again here in a little while, so stay tuned. Nice kayak set. Thank you, buddy. So stay tuned. I might uh, go live out here on the NAR and kind of give you guys a up-close you know, and personal picture of it and show you how it works and everything. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.